Hello, part six of essential oils and intimacy. Um, we're talking about libido oils for her. So we need to increase our libido at times because we're exhausted and we just are, we've had enough. We don't want any more, but we need some more sex. So to be healthy, as we've talked about. So libido oils. My favorite one is um, sensation. So depends on why um, you're struggling. And for me, a lot of times it's my middle blocks. Like I'm mad or I'm tired or I feel frustrated with him or my children or my life for some reason. And I struggle to get over that hump. So um, sensation helps a lot with removing mental blocks. So um, for, for sensation, I oftentimes um, just put it behind my ears. I love the smell of it. And the smell is so powerful for you to use, diffuse essential oil. So I will put it in my diffuser. If he comes home and he smells the sensation in the diffuser, he knows what's going on. I'm trying to, you know, get ready um, and get myself in ready for this. So um, it, it really does help. It really does make it more pleasurable. And it is an awesome smell. So I want to mention while we're at yes. it. Yeah, let's talk about that. And you can use it for other Sensation, <laughs> yeah, sensation can be applied to, on point to your parts. It is a warming feeling. Um, and uh, I... It's always recommended for you to dilute it first um, when you first try it, if you're not used to it. Um, but I also use a sensation um, a massage oil, and uh, that has a sensation oil in it, and that can be used as a lube. But the sensation has a whole line, and it's amazing for – it smells – it has jasmine in it. So if you like jasmine, you'll mm. love the smell of sensation. Yes. So. Yes. Um, oh, wait. Was I saying another one? Um, oh, uh, Valor. So Valor is just a calming oil for me. That's the main one I use for anxiety and stress. It just helps with confidence. Mm -hmm. And so when you're confident, you have a better libido because you're not feeling all crappy about yourself. So a lot of times I will put Valor on my wrist just to help me feel good about myself when I'm not feeling so beautiful or not feeling so great that day. So and just put it, you know, you can put it behind your yeah. ears too. Just yeah. I put it on my wrist, behind my ears, diffuse it. I, I love Valor. Mm -hmm. Valor smells different for everybody that it goes on. So... It's a fun oil. Well, we all have a different frequency. Yes. Right. So what smells on me is going to smell different on you. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I will go into joy. Joy is, it just smells amazing. Um, and diffusing it. It's, it's like a bouquet of roses. Yes. Like, so who does it, it has feel good? Little, it has rose in it. Yes. Which is a very wonderful mm -hmm. oil. Just to bring your, it uplifts your spirit. Yeah. And historically, roses have been yes. part of a lot of, yes. a lot of the flowers we're talking about, like Ling Ling and mm -hmm. Rose have been part of like ceremonies with wedding nights and stuff because they have an effect right. on that. So and you that's can use why it as perfume. Gets you roses on Valentine's <laughs> <Yes>. Day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And instead of using the toxic perfumes, you can use this instead. Oh, yeah. That's true. Um, so I will go into Clary Sage. Clary Sage is, it helps balance your hormones. And, you know, several of the oils I've talked about before has Clary Sage in it. And when I first used it, I didn't like it. It just smelled like, I don't know. It just smelled like hay or something. But now that I've been using it for so long, I love the smell. I kind of crave it. You know, and if you don't like an oil, put it on your feet. Because a lot of times if you don't like it, that means you need it. Because you're rejecting it for some reason. And... Just put it on your feet until you get used to it, and you'll eventually like it. Yeah. And using Clary Sage, it helps with natural lubrication. It helps um, with uh, when you have low estrogen, and that also can cause vaginal dryness, mm -hmm. especially as you age. That yes. um, Clary Sage helps with that. Menopause. Um, yep. <laughs> it helps. Um, so you can use it by applying to your inner thighs or below the navel, and that will help with lubrication if you struggle mm -hmm. in that area. Um and you so. can mix it with orange or joy or yelling. Yeah. yeah, I love diffusing it. You know, a lot of times at night I'll, I'll diffuse it with um, different things like lavender mm -hmm. or um, even cedar wood. Now, if you don't like what an oil smells like, add orange to it or yeah. peppermint. Or mm -hmm. those are the ones that if I find an oil that I know I need and that I, I like the effect of but I don't like the smell of, then I add something that I like to it, like joy, like she said, too. So, mm -hmm. all right. So and then also, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh my gosh. Uh, ylang ylang, which is a 
It's an aphrodisiac, so it helps increase your libido. So um, men are supposed to love this smell, so, you know, It'll dab down. some yeah. on. I put it in my hair. Walk by. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I flip my hair like this. So, <laughs> um, and it balances the male and female energies. So, and it also uh, affects your blood pressure for the positive. My so, husband uses that to help. His blood pressure? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. It supports healthy circulation. Yes. yes. All right. Next, we're talking about his and her oils, some oils that will work for both of you guys. So um, join us for um, part seven. seven. seven.